Hello everybody, my name is Lash Eisner and welcome to the Canadian Money Talk, the channel about Canadian investing and personal finance. Please like and subscribe, I record two videos per week, so make sure you ring the notification bell to get notified each time one comes out. As an investor, there are things you should worry about and things you should not worry about. Things that are out of your control is something you can't do anything about anyway, and you shouldn't worry about them to lower your stress level and to make you a better long-term investor. First, let's go through some things that are out of your control. Fund flows. Fund flows, also referred to as asset flows or just flows, measure the net movement of cash in and out of investment vehicles like mutual funds and exchange traded funds. Fund flows do not reflect the performance of the investment, only how investors move their money. What other people do is out of your control, and as long as the investment performs well, do not really matter. How other investors behave. What other people do is not predictable nor controllable, so you might as well not worry about them. Interest rates. These are said by the central banks for the variable rates or by the bond market for the fixed rate mortgages. You have no control over this and you should not really worry and try to predict what interest rates are going to do. Company news. Worrying about what news a company will release is completely pointless. There's no way to predict it. There's no way to control it. Stock prices. These go up and down on a daily basis, sometimes for no reason. Sometimes uh, for macro world events you can't control. You don't have to worry about day-to-day -day fluctuations if you invested in good stocks for the long run. What other investors say? Everyone has an opinion, everyone has their own investing style, so it's impossible to say who is right or wrong. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Macro events. These are political events, world trends, and other large-scale events which are totally out of your control. And while it's good to be aware of climate change, demographics, politics, electrification, etc., you can't do anything about these trends. You are being swept along with them. The Fed and central banks, they control the interest rates and their decisions are the most analyzed and guessed at events. But you only know what they're going to do after the fact, not ahead of time. So it's interesting to read about, but nothing that you can control or predict. Analyst upgrades and downgrades. Analysts will change their mind about stocks and companies. You can only react to these, but cannot do anything about them. Now, let's cover some things which are in your control. Your emotions. Avoid feeling panic, fear of losing money, greed, fear of missing out. Be dispassionate. You know what the right thing to do is. Invest dispassionately in good companies for the long term. Behavior. You control what you do with your portfolio. Quite often, the answer is do nothing, while a lot of investors have a bias toward action, possibly from the caveman days so you wouldn't get eaten by the saber tooth. But uh, you make a, a lot of moves uh, that necessarily don't work out a lot of the time. Purchases. You control what investments you buy, and when the market is uh, going down, the buying is good. Chasing a stock that is in the stratosphere is not good. So be careful during your purchases. Savings. To have money to invest, you need to control your savings and therefore spending. You have to live your life since you only live once, but balance your spending for today against your long-term goals and make sure you save some money to invest. This is entirely in your control. You just need some self-control. Media consumption. In our society, with so much information, both good and bad, correct and wrong, consuming and acting on too much of uh, what media puts out there is not advised. The overall investing media wants to sell you advertising, so they want you to watch. And it may not matter to them what you watch. They try to scare you because fear sells. I watch BNN and CNBC on a nightly basis, but I don't act on what they say. 
because often you get conflicting opinions on the same topic in videos that are next to each other. And if I bought and sold based on the talking heads, I'd have a messy portfolio that didn't make any money. So to summarize, focus on what you can control. And while you should be aware of what you cannot control, don't let it affect your decisions. If you have any requests on what you'd like me to cover in future videos, please put that into the comment section. If you'd like to get in touch, please reach out on any of these social media channels and may you have a profitable day.